Hello and welcome back. Thanks for, first of all, downloading this uh, project and also I really just hope that you enjoy it as much as I do and how as much as I enjoyed creating it. I just, above all things, I just want it to be a fun and exciting uh, model and jet, transforming jet to, to uh, fly around in. And uh, it's by far my favorite jet in the game <laughs> and I'm, I'm not just being biased I just love it so much so um, real quick I just wanted to go through the hotkey setup now I've included a hotkey uh, setup page uh, in the manual uh, folder I'm going to put a picture of that up here right now so that you can see what I'm looking at and I've gone ahead and set up all the hotkeys around the number key uh, control pad here. So I'm going to go through each key, discuss how it use it, and um, let's begin. Uh, so of course you would have to set up something similar uh, to what I have set up, but uh, these are my recommendations for a quick start, I'm just getting everything to uh, function and work properly. So everything I've set up uh, is uh, using the right control plus a number on the keypad and also the surrounding buttons around that. So let's look at what uh, control zero does and I believe that is the wing sweep. So let's control zero. Here we go. Sorry about that delay. So control zero is set up for my wing sweep. I also have this set up on my Xbox controller as my Y button so um, I can do it that way. So control zero is wing sweep. Next thing I have is the control delete button and that's going to be the uh, air brake uh, system. Control delete. Now these are on off switches so everything is the first time you hit it that's the on and then when you hit the control zero again, that's off. So as we move forward, just remember everything that goes uh, up in the sequence, you can also come down to get back to the default position. Uh, we've looked at control delete, which was the air brake. Now just do control one. Now for this particular sequence, this is gonna start the transformation sequence. So normally when you're in the air, uh, you won't have to do this step, but uh, to show this while we're parked, I'm going to hit Control 5, and that's going to be my, uh, this is my jet landing position, and when I hit Control 5, that's going to put me in a landing position where I can land on my feet or the legs as they come out, so I can land in guardian mode or battle mode mode. Okay, but just imagine we're in the air, we're flying, and I hit Control 1, that's going to take me into guardian mode. So from jet fighter to guardian control one. Okay, so this is guardian mode. Now from guardian mode, I can go to battleoid mode. So I'm going to hit control two. So you have to do these in a sequence. So from guardian mode to battleoid mode, control two. All right. Now, um, normally, if I was in the air, I would just reverse it. So I would hit Control Two. So that turns off Battleoid mode. Then I would hit Control One. That turns off Guardian mode. So, and then this sh we should end up back at the default Jet Fighter mode. Okay. Now another feature I've added, so let's just say you've come in, you've landed, and you want the battleoid to stand. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, now this is control three, which is the battleoid standing pose, but I have to go through the sequence properly. If I just go straight to control three, um, that doesn't look like anything <laughs> that's supposed to be. That just looks, looks broken. So if you ever see hit a button and something looks broken, just hit it again, control three, and then that, that should turn off what you just did. So now we're back and good. Okay, so we'll hit control one to go to guardian. Here 
Then we're going to hit Control 2 to go to Battleoid. And then, so let's say I'm at the airport, I'm on the tarmac, and I just want to have a standing pose. Now I hit Control 3. So I'm going from Battleoid to Battleoid standing pose. Now that finishes the sequence for this. If I accidentally hit any other uh, button out of sequence, it's going to break, you know, obviously. So that's that's really badly broken, and that was hitting Control 4, which was for a different Battleoid pose. So if you find yourself broken, just hit Control 4 again to turn it off. Okay, so basically control one, two, and three, you can use those in sequence. And then that kind of ends this transformation sequence. So let's go back to jet. So I have to hit control three again. That turns off battleoid stand pose. Then I hit control two, that turns off battleoid to guardian. Now I hit control one and that will turn off guardian mode. So now I've gone back all the way back to the root or back to the default position of Jet Fighter. Okay. So now let's say there's another thing that's uh, we kind of did a standing pose on the tarmac. Let's say I was in guardian mode. So that's control one. I'm in guardian mode. Now let's say I want him to stand on the tarmac, so like a parking position in guardian mode. I can co do control 6. Now this will be my guardian parking position. Um, but again, this has you have to be in guardian mode to go to the parking pose for guardian. Similar to you had to be in a battleoid pose to go to the parking pose for battleoid. So now we want to go back to Jet Fighter, so let's hit Control 6 again. That takes us back to Guardian. Now we'll hit Control 1. And Control 1 turns Guardian mode off. So now we're back at Jet mode. Okay. Now there is one more Battleoid pose, but that is direct, a direct Battleoid from the Jet. So to go directly from the jet to Battleoid, that's going to be Control 4. And that's a Battleoid pose where he's holding um, the gun in both hands now. Um, but that's now the end of this sequence. So you basically just from Jet Fighter to Battleoid, and that's it. So now we want to turn off that Battleoid pose, which is Control 4. So hit Control 4 again. That turns off the pose. And now we're at Jet Fighter. Okay, Control 5. Again, that's that was our Guardian Battleoid landing position. Now we're at the Jet landing position. Um, if you haven't seen the other video, the reason this happens is imagine when you're landing that the wheels are on the ground and you land in jet position. Now, in, in Flight Sim Simulator, um, I want the wheels or the contact points of the wheels on the ground, but I want the legs to be touching the ground. So, it, let's say I went to Guardian mode. My legs are, not, are inside the ground, so that's not working. So, what we do is we hit Control 5, which controls our landing position overall. So now that raises us up and we can now land in this pose as well. So the contact points for the wheels are still the same, but we've raised the model up into the air so now the legs aren't penetrating the ground. Of course, I've talked about having different cameras uh, for this, so um, if you go up to camera view. Uh, we're currently using um, Pilot has uh, the, a few different cameras here. If we go to Pilot camera, you'll see the, the camera shoots down to what normally would be inside the jet cockpit, but because we're landing 
Uh, in Guardian mode, I, I've set it up so that you can also use a hotkey to go back and forth between these two cameras. So, for example, if I go into normal jet landing position, fighter plane position, the plane will go down and if I hit F10, then the camera zooms down into the normal fighter jet position. And again, we hit Control 1 to turn off Guardian mode. So you'll begin to recognize which poses are Guardian, Battleoid, Battleoid 1, Battleoid 2, Battleoid 3 pose. So you'll start to realize that, oh, okay, I just go in reverse sequence, or I just undo what I need to do to get to a specific level of transformation. So the other hotkeys that I have are Control 7, which is for a heat shield. So we have heat shield on and off. Control 7, heat shield off. Now Control 8 um, is for elevator wings. Now uh, the original cartoon series did not have elevator wings on the legs. But I like them. Um, I think they look more like the F-14 Tomcat. So if I hit Control-8, we have elevator wings display. And you can have these on. It's up to your taste. That's like switching them on. Control-8 will switch them off. Um, now I can also, Control-9 is for uh, the stabilizer uh, wings. So those uh, will go disappear, uh, turn on and off. Now the reason you would turn those on and off is if uh, you turn on battle armor. So if I did control plus, that turns on our battle armor. And I don't mind, I don't mind the stabilizers on in this position. I don't even mind having the elevators on uh, with battle armor on. Um, but if for some reason you want to be closer to the original uh, cartoon series, you can turn both of those off, and that way uh, those won't be displayed. So, Control Plus again to turn off battle armor. Control 9 to turn on your stabilizer wings. All right. The next things we have are uh, the keys kind of surrounding. We talked about Control Plus, which was for your battle armor. Uh, now if we, I'm going to turn the lights down a little bit so we can kind of see uh, in the cockpit that control number lock will turn the lights on and control backslash will turn, forward slash, I'm sorry, will turn them off. So number lock, control number lock to turn on, control forward slash to turn off. Um, also we have Control star to turn on our taxi lights, our uh, exterior lights. So we have a nice group of exterior lights here. Control star off, control star on. So just remember everything's an on off switch here. Okay, and then we have control minus, which will turn our pilot on and off. Control minus. You can see the pilot turning on and off. Okay, so that uh, in a way uh, discusses all of our uh, keypad sheets. So I'll, I hope that helps with uh, just knowing how to use the hotkeys for transformations. All the other hotkeys are more for like display. And then you have your usual hotkeys for uh, landing and throttle and all those things um, that would normally, you know, uh, you know, affect the rudder controls. And you know, those are generic hotkeys. Um, again, if you haven't watched the other video, everything can be accessed through buttons inside. But one thing I'd like to point out to you is, I try to put good descriptions in here. So. If you look at this B, it says fighter to battleoid. That's all it does. So fighter to battleoid and then reverse. G is fighter to guardian. So you have to be in fighter to begin with and then go to guardian. 
The next button is Guardian to Battleoid. So it's basically saying you have to be in Guardian mode to go to Battleoid mode. Okay. So this is a Battleoid stand pose. So you have to be in Battleoid, uh, this Battleoid pose, in order to access the stand pose. And then Guardian Tarmac Pose, well, you have to be in Guardian Mode to access the Guardian Tarmac Pose. And then you got Wing Sweep, Air Brake, and then all these uh, on-off switches for armor, Heat Shield Stabilizer, everything we talked about, Parking Brake, and so forth. So I hope that was um, useful. And again, please uh, check in with Skull Squadron Sims. Uh, dot itch dot io uh, this will uh, I will keep updating the manuals and adding any other little tips and tricks here and there um, I've also started using the dev log on Skull Squadron Sims itch dot io so at the bottom of the main page uh, uh, you'll see a dev log link um, with any updates so I hope that's helpful and uh, by all means reach out and leave some comments on the itch.io page or uh, you can uh, email me, uh, me as well and I'll try and answer any questions uh, after you have downloaded them. But I just wanted to thank you so much for checking my uh, passion project out and I just uh, really hope uh, that you love it as much as I do. And just the more you play around with it, the more I think you're just going to really enjoy it and, and it's just going to be even more awesome. I just find myself uh, flying this around for hours and hours and I never get tired of it. So thanks again and uh, have a great day and we'll see you out there in the Microsoft land. Take care.